What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Hey, do you nerd for some crafty sons of... Hey! This is a family channel. That's right. We're going to talk about some of the cool, crafty, nerdy things that we are seeing out and about in the community. Uh, first and foremost, we love any of that super unique, very fun, crafty stuff, whether it's prints or 3D made things, uh, yarn stuff, even you've partaked uh -huh. in that before. <laughs> so very, very cool stuff out there. And the first thing I would like to show off just real quick, shout out to our buddy Gary at Rock Solid. Check out this cute little 3D printed Discoon model. And it even says, do you nerd on the front? So this if, is ours. Yeah, this is 100% ours. Now it holds four of the Famicom disc games in their cases. And it's a <laughs> great place to put those lovely Legend of Zelda. Oh, I'm sorry. The Hyrule Fantasy games. But how adorable is it's that a little big person. eyed face? I love it. And of course, you know, with the white printed material, perfect for painting however you may want. And I love how it looks on the shelves. I mean, it's so good. And it keeps everything nice and organized. Simple stuff like that. You can be crafty and functional. Thanks, Gary. Gary! Now, the next thing is very interesting. You know, something I have a problem with is <laughs> Switch games. They're so hard to play. I just never know what to do. Never know how to play these games. Well, that's okay, because now we have manuals. Ooh, yes. Check this out. Anyone who buys modern games knows that manuals are sadly a thing of the past. Oh, there's a picture in there, but that's all you get. This is something that comes from MBPUK. This is someone who was showing off their stuff on Twitter and I had to add some of these to the collection. I love the card that they sent in the box. Everything's thanking <laughs> you for support. Seriously though, the card, I love this. Thank you. This would have been handwritten, but mine's terrible. But then on the back, <laughs> there is a handwritten note. See, when I placed this order, I asked Rowan to sign all of these because, hey, you made these. I want your name on them. Hey, Tom, thank you for the support. Per your note, I've signed each one. Hope they're okay. If not, feel free to message me. All the best. First thing you will notice, these little guys, I mean, how adorable they are. are they are super so adorable. So tiny. And they do fit perfectly inside your Switch games. See Look that? at that. That. That is a much more complete look, having an actual manual in there. Come on, Nintendo. Now, hey, for me, <laughs> I had to go with a couple of Zelda ones. So, for the Breath of the Wild, this is great. It is a checklist booklet. Talking about your main quest, your Sheikah Towers. It even has all of the Korok seeds in each region. And, and it boy, is, is there a lot. It is broken down to the region, so it makes it that much easier to track everything that you would want to find in the game to 100% complete it. And in the back, an armor guide. Well, of course, I had to get one of my favorite games, Animal Crossing. How cute is this? It says the player's pass. Looks like the Dodo passport and everything. And it's got everything in here that you need, all of your gold tools, tips and tricks, each visitor that comes and when they come and everything. And then the other cool thing is it's got the bugs, the fish, and the fossil checklist and everything. Some other little fun um, things in here like the paintings and the statues, how to do the um, flower cross breeding and stuff like that, all the KK slider stuff. And then the best part at the back it's got a adorable little passport in here so you can put your little character picture and your name and your island, your friend code, your creator code. Super duper cute. I love the creativity of making that into a passport. I mean, it's perfect for the game, obviously. The next one I had to do for Link's Awakening, gotta have those Zelda booklets. This one is so, so good. 
this one is very much a standard manual. You've got the prologue story right there at the beginning and your control scheme right here. Now something fun is you're seeing both new screenshots because obviously and they're great quality too yeah they couldn't be lifted from the original game these are from the Link's awakening remake so you have all these great sharp colorful screenshots and then you get into the different techniques and abilities and you're utilizing those fantastic link to the past Link's awakening era hand-drawn images of link that look so cool you've got your heroic equipment it breaks it all down showing everything that you're going to find in the dungeons and then just the general information going throughout the game and even the cast of characters and here again it's showing off those new models of the characters so Marin and Terran and the owl all looking as great as they ever have Marin and Terran <laughs> in the back it talks about what's new to the switch as opposed to the original game and there's even room for notes. Wow, that's so I cute. I love this. And it just goes to show this is the kind of manual we always should have had in these games because we love manuals. Well, the other thing I love is, you know, like you said, the screenshots, they're great quality and they're little. So, I mean, it's yes. like it's kind of hard to do a little screenshot like yeah, that. Yeah, and still maintain that quality. Good mm -hmm. point. Yeah. Well, the last one that I got was for Luigi's Mansion. Luigi is one of my most favorite characters. And so, of course, had to get Luigi's Mansion in here, except it's not really a mansion. <laughs> but anyway, this one is super cool on the inside. It's got a nice Poltergust user guide for your control scheme and everything like that. Then it's got some other fun tips and tricks in it. And then it breaks down each level, shows you how many of whatever it's the wrench or the diamonds or the reel or whatever the little collectible is for that one. Checklist to make sure you've got all of those. Checklist for the boo. And then a map of everything. And then a quick little synopsis of each ghost on each level and to tell you the um, different. Uh, it's got a nice little collector's guide at the back to show you good ways to earn some trophies like collecting 10,000 coins or 6,000 bills, stuff like that guest notes in the back you know like where you would write your name at the guest book and everything that's what he's called it and then again he signed it so so this is great the variety of these booklets is really cool because you have the fun passport theme of the animal crossing you have a checklist style theme for breath of the wild you have a standardized manual for link's awakening and the luigi's mansion 3 is kind of like a mini walkthrough guidebook yeah, which is pretty great something similar to what you would get way back in the day on the nes for dragon warrior so a bunch of variety in all of these and again super high quality all of them fit so well in the cases love it well there is one more thing one more crafty thing to share this one doesn't even know about I don't. it so this is a surprise when we were at the midwest gaming classic of 2021 there was a very cool booth these people hooked up john riggs with something cool And they hooked up Game Dad with something as well. That's the Game Dad logo. That is awesome. This entire thing is made out of string and nails to get your little points on there. And I thought, you know what? I think our collection could use something like that. Now, I did see this. She has not yet. So I was a little surprised by the size. Okay. <laughs> Holy cow. As you can see, it's a big box. Big, big. This oh. is from Walnuts. All right, nerdlings, check it out. I'm showing you before Lady Lacey. Are you ready? <gasps> oh my gosh, that is amazing. Look how great this is. That is totally awesome. So we have the Do You Nerd logo done up in that pin and yarn style that Walnuts does so well. Of course, there will be a link to them as well as everybody else in the description down below. This was a special commission piece that I reached out to them for and I loved seeing what yes. they did with this. It really came together. It looks fantastic. The coloring of everything it's is It's perfect. So I love even on the question mark, you've got all the different colors that's in the question mark. And then the background is just a really nice, just good, you know, like reclaimed barn wood, which is 
really makes the whole thing pop. I love this. This is great. Well, surprise. This is I, so cool. I thought you might like I something love like this. this. Now we just have to figure out the perfect place to hang this up. We do. But again, Walnuts, thank you so much yes, thank for really you. doing justice to our logo. We absolutely love it. It looks so, so good. You guys do amazing yes. work. No, all right, nerdlings, please check out all of these links in the description below for Walnuts, for MBPUK, for all <laughs> of your mini manual needs, and Gary over at Rock Solid, who's 3D printing some really cool and functional items for your game room. Guys, you gotta check all these people out. Leave some comments down below. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Hit the notification bell. Make sure you're subscribing to see what we're adding to the game room next. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hit us up on Tee Public because we've got some merchandise that shows this lovely logo off. And if we like it, we nerd it for yarn. And hey, you don't even and have books. to knock on wood for that. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Well, a little miss impatient, drumming the fingers. You gonna do this or what? I can't wait to hang it up. Yeah, now we just have to. <clears throat> Thanks, Toby. Quiet on the set.